bait. Let me see if I can help show you how to make a diaphragm for your balloon base. Should end up looking something like this. I made this one earlier and it's actually probably one of the best ones I've made, but um, they often look a little uglier than that, but they'll still work. So, here we go. We're going to start with a 260 balloon that's partially inflated. Maybe, I don't know, almost two thirds of the way, maybe, something like that. And you're going to take the end and twist a bubble about an inch, maybe, something like that. Maybe a little less. Twist it twice. Okay? Now you're going to hold that bubble. Watch this. This is the tricky part. You twist it over like that. Grab that whole thing and do a twist. A couple twists. See how there's that little crease in there? That's the ear twist right there. And because it's uh, there's balloon on both sides of it that's inflated, it's going to stick. So I usually do it about one and a half or two turns, and that sticks pretty good. And one of the reasons you're leaving extra air at the end is because um, as you go along, the balloon here at this end gets a lot tighter as you do these twists. And because I'm not a good balloon twister like a D is, uh, it's a little easier for me to just kind of you kind of just squeeze on this end, and that end blows out a little bit, and then the end you're working on is not as tight anymore. Okay, so now we're going to do another another ear twist, the second ear twist. Okay, so now we have two ears, and it looks like a little dog. Isn't that cute? Okay, squeeze a little more out, because I want it to be a little easier to work with. Do another ear twist. Okay, so now I've got two ear twists and two, or three ear twists in the original bubble. And I'm going to blow that out a little bit. And do another ear twist. Now I've got one, two, three, four ear twists. And the original bubble. Do one more ear twist. And then I'm going to try and put it all into the diaphragm kit. So, one more ear twist, and there you go. So now you've got this ugly mess with a bunch of ear twists and the original ball. And basically what you guys do is kind of try and rearrange them so they're prettier. Okay, so you can just move them around carefully. Trying to make sure that you don't have to blow the whole thing apart. And then what you do is you pop the end, the big end, and um, of course it's going to stay together because all these are twisted really well. What I do is I pinch it off about halfway, pop the end with a pin or something, or try and just pull it or something like that to pop it. And then slowly let the air out so it doesn't kind of traumatize this whole thing. And then take that in and wrap it around a bunch of these to kind of keep it together. Let's see how I'm doing that. And wrap that around here. And be careful not to, again, not to kind of screw your whole thing up. We're doing that. So then you end up with this relatively ugly little diaphragm. Um, looks like one of my things kind of fell apart because now I only have four twists and the original, but hey, it works, okay? Either one of those will work to uh, make a balloon base. There you go, hope that helps. Have fun making your balloon base and watch the uh, other how-to video on my channel if you wanna see the whole thing. That's just the uh, diaphragm part. Have fun.